Welcome to the homework for Lesson 14, Grade 3, Module 2. Write your name here. Now we're rounding to the nearest hundred. So if you're, um, and we're using number lines just like we did in Lesson 13, we rounded to the nearest ten. We're rounding to the nearest hundred now, so we're going to have some pretty big numbers. And uh, there are, I know there's, I know there's third graders out there who get, who really get, confused or uh, uh, and sometimes even upset at really large numbers uh, and we, we have them here we're gonna have to learn to work with larger and larger numbers as uh, as we move up through the grades in school and uh, these are some of the largest numbers we'll have to work with all year but we're rounding to the nearest hundred so what we're looking at and for place value for our digits we're looking, just keep in mind your HTO chart. And thousands would go here, right? So when you're looking at this, and I'll do a few of them. I'm not going to do all of them using the HTO chart. But I'll do some of them so that you can see, just to focus on which digits you, you really should be looking at for the place values. And once you once you start looking at the digits and trying to figure out which digits are important for when you're rounding, then it might be a little less, uh, a little less difficult, maybe a little less confusing. You might just have an idea of how to, of how to do these. Um, so to the nearest hundred, so 156 we're looking at, and here I'll do, I'll do a HTO chart for this. Just and you maybe you know, I mean you know your hundreds, tens, and ones. But it just helps to see it this way. 156. And we're rounding to the nearest 100. So it's the hundreds place that we're the most interested in here. Um, the tens will tell us which hundred we're closest to, if it's the next one down or the next one up. But you look at the hundreds first, and that tells you the lower no, the lower end of our number line is going to be the same. It's going to be 100, but all with zeros, right? 100. And then the next high, the next 100 up will be 200. <clears throat> and it's always, when you're rounding to the nearest 100, it's always going to be 50s in the middle. So that's 150. And now we just have to look at where would 156 go? What's well, a little more than 150? So it goes right there. So it's about, and we're using those little wavy equal signs. So it's about, it's not exactly the same, but it's about, it's closer to the, the larger, the higher hundred. So 342. You know, and you don't have to draw these, but if it helps you, keep doing it. Because it doesn't take that much time or work to do it. And if it works, use it. If you don't need it, then you don't have to draw it. Uh, but you might want to try it a couple times because uh, it might help you just concentrate on what you're... Uh, if you're making mistakes, you don't realize it. It may help you stop making those mistakes. Uh, so, because this is one that it, you can feel like you know what you're doing, and then when you start, you go back and watch the video and check your answers, you're just like, man, what was I thinking? Uh, it, I was way off on a lot of these, and it can happen with large numbers. Uh, so just slow down and look at the digits. Um, three is the hundred. That's going to be the lowest hundred, 300. So a hundred more is going to be the next hundred up, 400. And in between is going to be 350. All right, now the 342 is going to be a little bit less than the 350, right? Because now we can just look at the tens digits. Because we know this number is going to be somewhere on this line. And we just have a look at the tens. The 42 is going to be smaller than the 50, so it's going to be down here somewhere, 342. So it's closer to the lower 100, so it's about 300. All right, and now I'm just going to do this 260. So that's going to be in between 200 and 300. And right in the middle between 200 and 300 is 250. And 
260 is going to be in between, it's going to be higher than 250. So that's going to be the 260. And we know it doesn't matter exactly where in between we make our mark for that. Just somewhere in between is all that matters for this. So that's going to be, it's closer to the higher 100, 300. So now we have, we're in the thousands. And I'm going to do two of the, I'm going to do two of these. I'm going to use the place value chart for two of these. Because we're really not used to working in thousands. I use TH, hundreds, tens, and ones. And we're looking at 1,200, 660. All right, so we're, we're looking at the nearest hundred, right? But now we're going to have a thousand. So... Our lowest, our, our lowest hundred is going to be 1,200. And you know, we, I know this, the comma is a big deal for these big numbers. And uh, don't get caught up in it. My tip for, for writing in the commas is don't think about where to write the comma until after you've written all of the digits. So after you write the digits, then figure out where the comma goes. Because otherwise, you'll end up writing extra digits while you're trying to think about the comma. I've seen it happen a lot. So and what you're going to do is count in. The trick is you count in from this end three digits. One, two, three, and the comma goes there. It goes in between the hundreds and the thousands. So that's 1,200, right? And this is going to be 1,300 because that's 100 more. And this will be 1,250. And so 1,000, you can see the, let me erase that. I just messed that up. Okay, that was 1,250. And be careful with your commas, because like even you can see my commas here, they're kind of big. And I've seen commas that look bigger than numbers. And it can really be confusing to have a comma that's like this big because now it looks like 11,250. So be careful. Your commas, keep them small, please. So if you're going to use them, you don't have to use them. You don't even have to use the commas. But I know everybody likes to use them, so they go try and keep them small. All right. Uh, so 1,200. 1,200. 60 is going to be bigger than 50, so it's going to have to go up here. So that's about 1,300 or 1,300. Here's the next one. And I'm going to make an HTO chart for this guy too. One, six, eight, five. And now you just look at the place values, right? And what we're trying to get here, so we're going to have a thousand, then we're just looking at the hundreds, right? So our bottom one is going to be 1,600. And then a hundred more than 600 is 700, so this is going to be 1,700. And in between 600 and 700 is 650. So this is going to be 1,650 in the middle. And since this is 85, 85 is more than 50. So it's going to have to be up here somewhere. 1, 6, 8, 5, which means it's going to be closer to 1,700. Or also called 1,600. And... This last one, 18, it would be between 1800 and 1900. And right in the middle between those is 1850. And 1804 is just above 1800. So it's closer to the 1800.
And now we're completing a chart. Uh, this is going to be lots of rounding. That's what all of this has been so far. So we're going to be doing more of it. Luis has 217 baseball cards. Round the number of cards Luis has to the nearest hundred. These are all going to be nearest hundred, nearest hundred, nearest hundred, nearest hundred. Because less than 13 was nearest 10. Now we're doing all nearest hundred. So let's see, 217. And if you want, uh, I highly recommend that you keep drawing these graphic organizer number lines. 217, the nearest 100 is going to be either, is going to be in between 200 and 300. In between is 215. 217 is right here. And you don't have to fit all these right here. If you have uh, one-sided homework pages, you can use the back of the first page to draw your number lines. Or you can use a separate piece of paper. Uh, so this is going to be closer to the 200. Two hundred cards. Four hundred sixty-two to the nearest hundred. There were four hundred sixty-two people sitting in the audience. Round the number of people to the nearest hundred. So four hundred sixty-two is going to be in between four hundred and five hundred. And right in the middle is four hundred fifty. And four hundred sixty-two is going to be a somewhere up in there closer to the 500 500 people a bottle of juice holds 386 milliliters round the capacity to the nearest hundred so for 386 that's going to be in between the and we're nearest hundreds, so we're writing hundreds for our upper and lower numbers. That's 300 and 400. Right in the middle will be 350. And 386. 86 is more than 50, so it's going to be more than 300. So 386 is going to be more than 350. So this is going to be right about here, 386, closer to the 400. So 400 ML, lowercase m, capital L. A book weighs 727 grams, round the weight to the nearest 100 grams. So I'm going to just keep doing this down here. 727, so that's going to be 700, it's going to be in between 700 and 800. There's 750 right in the middle. And there's your 727, it has to be less than 750, because 27 is less than 50, so 727 is less than 750. 727. So it's closer to the 700 grams and Joni's parents spent one thousand two hundred and sixty dollars on two plane tickets round the total to the nearest hundred you may want to use an HTO chart for this one just because you're in the thousands here now it might help sometimes when you just get a number that's that big it just looks like a salad of numbers and you just it doesn't make any sense to you it doesn't even look like a number anymore it's so big and if that's happening to you make an hto chart it really kind of helps you just focus on the digits and not on how big the number is so Joni's parents spent so 1260 and here i'm just going to do what i said to do one two Six zero, and it's thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. So I'm looking at hundreds. I want the nearest hundred. So it's going to be one thousand two hundred, and then a hundred more than that is going to be one thousand three hundred. So one two hundred, one thousand three hundred. In between is going to be 
Well, in between 200 and 300 would be 250. So this is going to be 1,250. And 1,260 is going to be a little bit higher than 1,250. 1,260. So it's closer to the, to the 1,300. Oh, and again, just write your comma after you write your digits. And this is money dollars so I need a dollar sign here there circle two numbers that round to 400 when rounding to the nearest hundred so here we have I'm not going to do every single one of these on a number line because this video is getting too long as it is so we're rounding to the nearest hundred so we're looking for something hmm. That's going to either be between, let's see, it could be up, right? Because it could be in between 400 and 500, right? With 450 in the middle. Or it could be between 300 and 400 with 350 in the middle. So it's either somewhere in here between 350 and 400 or somewhere in here between 400 and 449. Because if it's 450, it's going to go up to 500. So we'll just look at where these are on these two lines. 368, that's going to be in between 350 and 400, so we can circle that one. 342, that's going to be below the 350, so we're not going to circle that one. 420 is going to be in between the 400 and the 450, so we circle that one. 492, that's going to be closer to the 500, so we can't circle that one. The 449, I mentioned that number already, right? It's right under the 450, so we can say that's closer to 400 than 500, so we'll circle that one. And then 464, that's going to be a little bit above the 450, so that's closer to 500, so we can't circle that one. So those are the three numbers that you're going to have for your answer there. And I suggest you should write these number lines on here. To show how you did it. There are 1,525 pages in a book. Julia and Kim round the number of pages to the nearest hundred. So we're rounding this to the nearest. Julia says it's 1,500. That's 1,500. Kim says it is 1,500s. Who is correct? Kim says it is 1,500s. 1,500s. Okay, so let's see. Are, you know, it's possible that they're both wrong, so we should figure out exactly what it is first, how, what, which is the nearest hundred that it rounds to, just to make sure that they're not both wrong or they're both right. We'll see what happens. Because um, it looks like th this is going to be the same. They're talking about the same number. Uh, 1,525 pages in the book. So nearest hundred we're talking about in between 1,500 and 1,600. And right in the middle is going to be 1,550. And so the pages in the book are going to be somewhere in the middle here. 1,525, which means it's going to be closer to that. So 1,500s is... Uh, Here's just, one, two, three, four, five. Now you could probably write a couple of sentences 
and it would do just as well as this number is this really long equation I'm writing. What does this equal? 1500s added together, right? Well, here are five. This is a 10 frame, really. I did this on purpose. That's a 10 frame filled with hundreds. So that's 10 hundreds right there. And 10 hundreds is 1000. And here are five more hundreds. So that's 1000, right? That's the same as 1000 plus 500, which equals 1500. So they're both correct. It's the same number. I'll just write label this 15. They are both. Correct. And we'll say fifteen hundred equals one thousand. Five hundred. 